Hey guys, what's going on? I'm going to give an update on Ian because the trade was completely sour, like sour. Now in my video, you saw that I was hoping she'd reach back on the daily to the 61.8 area before she continued the uptrend. And I was trying to take advantage of that move. And I normally don't counter trend trade. It looked like a super high probability trade, right? On the four hour. So I took advantage of this move down and I was good. Now I did move our entry up in the initial analysis. You'll see my entry was lower. I wanted to wait um, just because of the volatility in the market. And I really want to see a breakout and a retest of this blue, this blue area. I was not getting it. So I did advise the team to go ahead and secure their profits. So we were able to get 50 pips out of this from here to here and abort mission. Like we left because it, the news was just super bullish. The projections on the euro were just, it, it was crazy. So she didn't do as planned, which is okay. However, we didn't lose, we, we were in profit. However, let's talk about what she's doing. And this is why it really is so important to stick with the trend. Um, I know better than this. And I'm, I'm showing you this because we have to be transparent as traders. Yes, my team, we win a lot, like a lot. However, we take losses too. Now we did lose in blue, which is always a good thing, but you need to see both sides. You need to see the psychological aspect of it, why we went wrong. Um, because anyone could come on here and critique me and be like, well, who's going on an uptrend? Well, yeah, duh, we know this. However, I want you to see me learn from mistakes because I too have losses. It's not always just wins, okay? So I promise to be as transparent as possible with this journey um, with you. It sucks that as I'm starting this new page, the first one wasn't so pleasant, but it's all good. So if you saw my analysis on Facebook, um, I said that I was hoping that she would come back up to this area and form like a double top before she came down. Okay, that's what I was looking for. Due to this being a really, really strong area, as you can see, look, the market was able to break it here, but for the most part, it was respected multiple times. So now I'm just going to see how she reacts to this level. Um, if she comes out and breaks out and gives me confirmation to still take her up, then I'll do that. If not, then I will go ahead and continue my bearish bias, but I would need to definitely see some uh, better confirmation so I don't get stuck again. Um, so as you can see on the FIB, if we draw from entire move from low to high, she actually was dancing around on the 3820, which was absolutely beautiful. Typically when this happens on the FIB, um, you're gonna get a really strong impulse whenever the 3820 is hit. Now some people may draw their FIB like this, um, I'm just, I do it right here on the uh, previous move. That's just how I've always drawn my fib. It's how I've been taught. So I'm just going to see how she reacts. I'm going to see if she dances around, maybe hits the zero, goes slightly above and then comes back down. At the moment I am watching her. Okay. I'm not doing anything with her, but, um, I'm going to watch her to see how she does with this continuation of the bullish momentum and see if this area is a potential stopping point or reversal point. If she has a hard time forming a higher high and I start to see that this structure is compromised, um, I will begin to continue my bias with bearish. I think I was just a little too early. And it was clear on the daily that we had some bearish momentum. So I'm just going to wait and see. Um, this is the update. So we're going to be 100% transparent. And we'll take a look at this trade and keep on going um, throughout the weeks. And, and, you know, we'll watch her and see what happens. So I will, you will walk through this journey with me. If she's looking ugly, I won't touch her. Um, she's been beautiful on the buy all the way up. So I'm hoping that she will either continue to be beautiful bullish or continue to be beautiful bearish. If you have any questions, you can private message me um, or you know message me on Instagram, YouTube, make a comment, whatever. And I'll be here to help you. Bye.